first of all, I want to thank the, the organizers for this uh, event. And uh, I have to confess, contact, to constat, sorry, to constat, it's easier to have events for the 50th anniversary of Finance Death here in the US or uh, abroad than in Europe and specifically in France. Until now, Fanon in France is blacklisted. It's very interesting. And uh, and it's funny because this year, I don't know if you know, but this year is uh, Afro-descendant year declared by you, you know. And uh, in France, as a state, the France has the obligation to apply this resolution voted by the Human Rights Council. And uh, they, don't, they, didn't, they, don't, they don't do anything for the afro descendant people, of course. But they fed, they, they, no, they fed, 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 they celebrate, they celebrate the Outremer, Caroline, Martinique, Guadeloupe, and they're all their dominion, the colonial dominion. It's very funny. <laughs> And also, we have to constat uh, Cesare is more politically correct than Fanon. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. That's the reason I am obliged to travel a lot in, at this time. <laughs> I cannot stay in France. <laughs> OK. Um, uh, as everywhere, the question of uh, the actuality of Fanon is uh, on the table, is, act- is on the table. And I would like to see this uh, actuality through the context of body crisis, economical, and uh, also I was uh, concerned about what is happening on the, what we call revolt Arab, and not spring Arab, and not revolution Arab. <laughs> it is a revolt, but I think it's uh, better than revolution. Uh, 50 years after Fanon's death, we are to note that despite the changing world, he remains a burning figure of surprising relevance, even through colonialism in its old forms as disappeared and many states free from colonial oppression have emerged. 60 years after the Second World War, 53 years after the Bandung Conference, in which people previously ignored and deprived of any right, under the main idea of the right of people to self-determination, expressed rebellion against the statu quo imposed by the colonial domination of European state and against the imposition of a bipolar world in which they were held hostage. Can we say that the disposition, alienation, and injustice have left this world? What was Fanon saying 50 years ago? As he elaborated his thinking on the role of violence in the liberation process and the risk facing the former colonized once independence achieved. After half a century, the result of independence is irrevocable, but people have not been liberated from an oppression that alienates alienates (coughs) them, freed freed from misery, injustice, and neglect that they suffered (coughs) under colonial rule. Societies are still orphans of state that have not yet been born, and that exist within neo-colonial, neocolonial networks that impose how they are able to change according to their interests. The seizure of power by the national bourgeoisie, which France found clearly identified in Les Désaventures de la Bourgeoisie Nationale, in L'Année de la Terre. I'm sorry, I quote in French because I cannot, uh, I don't have any English translation in my own uh, bibliotheque. 
as hand resulting in a tragic misuse of anti-colonial struggle. He described, years before it became obvious, the neo-colonial pathology as the perpetration <coughs> of domination by corrupted and anti-popular government that obey the interest of former colonial power. Fanon writes, quote, La bourgeoisie nationale qui prend le pouvoir à la fin du régime colonial est une bourgeoisie sous-développée. Sa puissance économique, presque nulle, et en tout cas sans commune mesure, avec la bourgeoisie métropolitaine à laquelle elle entend se substituer. Dans son narcissisme volontariste, la bourgeoisie nationale s'est facilement convaincue qu'elle peut facilement remplacer la bourgeoisie métropolitaine. Mais l'indépendance qui la met littéralement au pied du mur va déclencher chez elle des réactions catastrophiques et l'obliger à lancer des appels angoissés en direction de l'ancienne métropole. Elle est tout entière canalisée vers des activités intermédiaires. Être dans le circuit, dans la combine, telle semble être sa vocation profonde. La bourgeoisie nationale a la psychologie d'homme d'affaires, non de capitaine d'industrie. Un court. The elite used the power of their former colonizers, making this the triumph of business culture, which seems to be only a caricature of Western mental. As a result, liberation movement adopt the form of the unique party, quote, forme moderne de la dictature bourgeoise, sans masque, sans phare, sans scrupule et cynique, unquote. In addition to that, at the socio-economic level, the excess of all authoritarian government that have been accompanied by a disastrous management have only helped to preserve the interests of former colonizers, which are today more present than ever. At the strategic level, the defense agreement have allowed the installation of bases and airport, faci and airport facilities in major airports, and the control system are under foreign police supervision, which means much about the state of subordination. It is clear that in the absence of truly national perspectives, the way was open to tribal dictatorship. This prevented the formation of state in the service of their people. Fanon was afraid that if the new powers continue to be worn by the master of yesterday, then they would eventually cause the disintegration of these new states. For him, Building a just and prosperous society has to go through the total liberation of men and women from the legacy of colonialism, which makes it essential to ident identify after effects and eliminate the devastating effect of this presence. This has not occurred. The process of independence has still not been achieved. But the transfiguration of colonization does not so stop there. We must add the colonial dimension of humanitarian intervention, with two, which took a turn to open war in Libya and add always the permanent installation of NGOs supplying goods to weak and fragile states and maintaining the population, especially in rural, rural areas, in a relation of structural assistance. The renewed domination is done in good conscience, but it is the eternal and generalized neo-colonial war against terrorism which justifies the arrival of military extra-continental forces for answering the protection of the interest of multinational companies and powers. The regions most affected by this trend are those where there is a potential and strategic resources little or not operated yet. One must add to this the new st stage of imperialism. Contemporary globalization, which consists of opening the market of the least developed country to multinational. 
but the strategy of voting among other for the African and Arab countries to world market as a source of supply for raw materials. However, it is challenged by the emergence of new actors. The emerging economies challenge neo-colonial forces face to face, and we could see then the order based on vassal regime start to falter under the blows of popular uprising as in Tunisia and Egypt. This fact forces within the framework of international relations, the Western powers to reformulate their relationship with what they see at their surrounding areas. After the eternal war against terrorism that has earned the support of the world's dictatorship, the ethic of these relations has been enriched with the droit d'ingérence on behalf of the protection of civilian overlooked under the illegal responsibility to protect, which work, as can be seen right now in Syria, according to the well-known rule of double standards. It's not over. After the paternalistic stone of the post-independence years succeeded with the rise of neoconservatism in the West, a so-called parler vrai, which appeared recently as the speech of a right wing uninhibited, not hesitating to publicly express their thesis with clear racist basis. The colonial violence was followed by an indirect <coughs> violence where the colonial order contaminated the territory of the colonizer. The neo-colonial period ends with a recolonization under new form, including the African continent and the Arab Muslim arc. But what it is new is that now even the Occidental bloc is affected. All the people are subjected to a neo-colonial international order based on violence, creating an economic and social order based on generalized misery in the name of and built exclusively for the benefit of private interests. In addition, an, empire, an impartial observer might say, in light of bloody imperial wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya, but also of colonial relations in Palestine, the gunboat diplomacy on which the colonial empires have been built was back in active service. To think, to think from Fanon, the condition of the former country under colonial rule is an exercise of confrontation, a confrontation where the reality is clear of ideology blinders and free from any dogma. In his respect, contrary to those who want or who would like to see Fanon iconified or forgotten, Fanon, at the same time, a psychiatric and Algerian Mujahideen, a Pan African revolutionary an ambassador and a fighter for the emancipation of all is more relevant than ever. Remember the last sentences of black skins, white masks. Quote, moi, l'homme de couleur, je ne veux qu'une chose, que jamais l'instrument ne domine l'homme, que cesse à jamais l'asservissement de l'homme par l'homme, c'est-à-dire de moi par un autre qu'il me soit permis de découvrir et de vouloir l'homme où qu'il se trouve." Unquote. Subjected to Fanon's liberating criticism, the system of powers reveals themselves for what they are, system of oppression and of plunder at the root of all, creating economic, social, and cultural blockage, independence, was emptied of its democratic contents and exposed its vulnerability. The freedom for which people have raised in protest was confiscated by authorities supported by the former colonizer. Domination has only changed in appearance, but the empowerment is yet to come. For Fanon, quote, 
La libération de l'individu ne suit pas la libération nationale. Une authentique libération nationale n'existe que dans la mesure où l'individu a amorcé irréversiblement sa libération. End quote. Unfortunately, with a few exceptions, the society freed from colonial rule are societies without its citizens. The goal at the dawn of the second phase of independence is to is to be bring sorry is to bring again a political content to democracy in which finally the people will be fully recognized and without which formal independence is only a caricature. The liberation of human beings is a universal struggle and the political meaning of the struggle is based on the defense of public and private freedoms, the rule of general interest, the reduction of inequalities, the accountability of elected people and the sovereignty of law. Fanon's stubbornness and determination shows that there is no inevitability of failure, nor the drama can just be the mutual mode of life of the people. The solidarities of progress and convergence of struggles, resistance to dictatorship and to neo-colonial and imperial hegemonies are the milestones on the road to recovery. Solidarity and internationalism, and that of Fanon is an unchanging example, give a more human dimension to the struggle of people. Fanon and Light, as a psychiatrist, essayist, and activist, the colonized world united yet highly differentiated and with contradiction. So, For Fanon, there are little differences in the struggle of the dominated people, whether in the Caribbean, Africa, of, or South America. The political and social dislocation, characteristic of exploitation and exclusion, attempt to, the, to unify the subjected world for the interest of a small minority. The treatment imposed on Greece face to a foreign debt made with the help of ultra-liberal European Union and banks is a revelation of strategy to demonstrate social advance implemented in the richest countries. <coughs> Colonial governmentality <coughs> is now at the head of Europe itself. The Society of Security built in the name of fighting terrorism, contributes to the criminalization of its exclude and its poor. The media coverage of recent riot in England is reminiscence of that deployed in France during the 2005 revolts. By successive shift, facilitated by the superposition of social and ethnic <coughs> cultural classes, the poor, black, Arab, Muslim, The Western system reinject colonial speech in their domestic political <coughs> speech and vote xenophobic law. By a paradox, which history as a secret, the indigen become ubiquitous, not only in his native range, but also in what Fanon called the forbidden city, where the renewed form of discrimination are in notes from in Aden Mater that Quote, le monde colonisé est un monde coupé en deux. La zone habitée par les colonisés n'est pas complémentaire de la zone habitée par les colons. Ces deux zones s'opposent, mais non au service d'une unité supérieure. Ce monde compartimenté en deux est habité par des espèces différentes. L'originalité du contexte colonial, c'est que les réalités économiques, les inégalités, les normes différences des modes de vie ne parviennent jamais à masquer les réalités humaines. Unquote. For those, for those who want to hide the colonial past, present injustice and dispossession, Fanon's work would be conceived as only the apology of violence. His critics are represented among neoconservative intellectuals. 
that have pursued a witch hunt, their bias breeding, and forms of representation reflect their lack of knowledge of Fanon's work and their racist bad faith. The violence advocated by Fanon are the ultimate means of self-conquest by those who have been denied, exploited, and enslaved <coughs> is that of self-defense of the oppressed, the sufferer, and even an even greater violence, that of diminution, disposition, and contempt. But behind manipulation and propaganda, a reality is still born. The mechanisms the mechanism is that govern relations between former colonies and former colonial power are still at war. The reduction of submission and falsehood and the spirit of resistance 